let's talk about three things you can do to save yourself from incompetent bureaucrats. One, figure out what you want to do, where you would like to work. Go to these places, let them know that you want to be trained as an employee free of charge, no paperwork, nothing, whenever they are training a new hire. This way you'll learn an actual skills, build relationships with the people and companies that you want to work for. You're going to display passion that maybe certain employees might not even show. If you need to, you know, get personal insurance. Working for yourself means more freedom for you, more, biz- more freedom for the business owner. It will actually open your doors and get you on the front of the line because people that are applying with resumes to jobs, they are a legal liability to the employer, which you are not when you're an individual contractor. Two, get to know who your first responders are. I'm sure that you can talk about like the, no, the, the lore and name names of like characters and places and movies and video games. You know, who picks up the phone and who comes to save you when you dial 911? And if you don't have an answer, don't feel bad. It's not really promoted. It's not really something that's like encouraged in our culture. But now that you realize, go to your local police station, fire station, hospital, bring a gift, take a moment to shake their hands, get their names, befriend your protectors. It makes sense to do that. It creates a bond with the population and then it lessens the chance that they turn on you when the government tells them to. Three, turn your skills into classes. Whatever you're good at, you know, whenever you do a project for yourself, even, you could be renovating, gardening, painting, whatever, open it up to the public. We pay each other for guitar and singing lessons and that's been normalized in each other's homes. You can monetize whatever you're good at. Inviting people to attend while you do it. Since you'll be taking questions, it takes more time for you to accomplish your goal. So it's only normal to be compensated for your time and your knowledge. I often meet roofers, drywallers, framers, paid 20, 30 bucks an hour working on someone else's project while they could also be at home and receiving people in their own home and each of them paying them 50 to 70 dollars an hour to learn from them renovating their home doesn't that sound good be the change you want to see in the world no more delegation direct representation